Are you fighting right now? Inshallah, we'll make some attacks in New York soon, bidin Allah ta'ala. A lot of brothers, they're uh, mobilizing right now. أمتي قد لاح فجر فارق بالنصر المبين دولة الإسلام قامت بدماء الصادقين أمتي قد لاح فجر فارق بالنصر المبين دولة الإسلام قامت بدماء الصادقين Hello Hi So Where are you right now, friend? We're in New York and you're in, you're in Mosul? Yes, yes, I am. How long have you been in Mosul? About a month. A month? I was in Ambar before. I was in Ambar. How did you get, how did, how do you, got, you guys get recruited to go to fight in Syria and Iraq? No one recruited me. Actually, no one spoke a single word to me. No. All I did, I opened the newspaper, I read the Quran. Very easy. And you went? And someone actually came to me five or six days before I left. In Canada? And, yeah, and this is the truth. All of their intelligence uh, workers are imbeciles. FBI. So the, the Canadian police. Oh, CSIS. CSIS. Uh, the, yeah. So CSIS interviewed you about being going to Syria, being a terrorist. You said, no, I'm I not. I can't believe how someone that has extremist terrorist ideologies was sitting in front of you and you didn't capture them. The next time they saw me, they saw me ripping up my, they saw me ripping up my passport. This is a message to Canada and all the American Tawaqeet. We are coming and we will destroy you, bidnillahi ta'ala. I made hijrah to this land for one reason alone. I left comfort for one reason alone. For Allah Azza wa Jal. And inshallah, after Sham, after Iraq, after Jazeera, we are going for you, Barack Obama. Takbir! <laughs> I'm speaking with Vice. This is just my uh, German friend. You want to say anything? You don't get behind the camera unless you're ready for it. And so you have a, a German friend there. There's somebody from the UK. How many foreign fighters are in Iraq right now fighting for ISIS? Ooh, upwards of 10, 15,000. Upwards of 10, 15,000. All the new recruits now yeah. are coming to Iraq. Wallahi alham. Planning a very big attacks. Bidna Allah Taala. Inshallah, we are preparing to crush the Pashmurga. The Pashmurga, the Kurdish army. Yes, this is correct. So, who are your biggest enemies right now? Who are you fighting right now? The world. Right. Everyone in that coalition that's trying to fight Islam and the Muslims. With uh, many martyrdom operations, alhamdulillah. So there will be a lot more martyrdom operations coming from uh, the Islamic State going forward. Inshallah, we'll make some attacks in New York soon, bidin Allah ta'ala. A lot of brothers, they're uh, mobilizing right now in the really? West. Alhamdulillah. And what are they mobilizing for? <laughs> mobilizing for a brilliant attack, my friend. Every, I was just at a security conference and everyone is talking about ISIS and I'm saying, why is nobody asking why they're so popular? Why is no one asking why they're getting so many foreign fighters? I was, uh, I was, I'm also a foreign fighter. And as I said before, the reason is uh, we're, we're tired, you know what I mean? We're tired of oppression. All that, all those threats that I made, uh, put that all aside. We don't want, uh, no one likes fighting. If you want to live in the desert, maybe not eat, have, live a rough lifestyle, who wants to live? No one wants to live this lifestyle. If you leave us alone, we're gonna leave you alone. Right. We're tired. I don't wanna I don't wanna fight. I wanna be at home with my family. But why why am I why am I here? No one's asking that question. Well why are you there? What 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 did they call America? Land of the brave and home of the free. If you're the home of the land of the brave and home of the free, give us our freedoms, you know. If we want Sharia Allah, leave us alone. Right. And this is the truth of the matter. Yo, uh, I'm about to head out, so ask you questions uh, while you still can. Okay, are you guys under attack right now? When are we not under attack? You're continually under These attack. These people far seem to have a problem with us. And they seem to be attacking us day and night. Right. But they don't understand that Allah Azza wa Jal is on our side. Allah Azza wa Jal is on our side and bi'ithnillahi ta'ala, we will destroy these planes. These kuffar don't seem to understand. 
these apostate regimes today, today, the Saudi, the Saudi plane didn't seem to understand it. Allah Azza wa Jal was over it and it was down. And the Emirati plane that was over our skies today, that made Qasr, that attacked our land, they didn't seem to understand that Allah Azza wa Jal was over them. And now we have a prisoner from the Emirates, a fighter pilot. This is the truth of the affair. Whatever regime attacks us, we will attack them. Let us be under attack. We love being under attack. I want Shahada. When every single time I see a plane over, the, I see a plane over my head, I become very happy. Ya oh, Rabbi, Ya oh, Rabbi, maybe this is the time that I will go and I will meet my Lord. That is what I think. But I wonder what these kuffar think right now. I wonder what this, this Emirati uh, apostate that is in our prisons, I wonder what he thinks right now. That's the truth. And I wonder what the thousands, these people don't seem to understand. Oh, 10, 15, we are thousands of prisoners from the West that we have, that we will have to be had. And, and I wonder what their facts are thinking. And maybe, oh, Allahu A'lam, maybe I have your cousin here, you don't, seem, you don't know. Or your distant cousin, or your uncle. Maybe we have them with us, but you don't know. Do you have family in the military? Do you? Maybe you have a friend that has family in the military, and maybe we have his brother. Maybe we have his uncle but so or that's his grandfather. A, that's a question. You say, you know, look, we want to have Sharia, we want to just live on our own, don't attack us, and we won't attack you. But when you're beheading people, when you're cutting off their heads, what's the, wh why are you cutting their heads off? What's the, 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 the philosophy behind that? Come to me, I will come to you. Attack me, I will attack you. You attack one of us, we will attack one of you. But if I can leave us alone, I'm going to tell Barack Obama this. Barack Obama, inshallah, Ya Rabb, I hope Barack Obama listens to this message. Wallahi, you kafir. Wal uqsum billahi la azim. Wallahi, we will fight you until the end. It doesn't matter. And who, as after you, will keep fighting, we'll keep fighting you. I know so many people, thousands upon thousands upon thousands that are living in the West, that are ready right now to make an operation in your land. Why don't you leave us alone? Back up, go back up. Wallahi, when I see, when I'm in the battlefield, when I see my enemy, Wallahi, I see Jannah. I see Jannah for those. I see, I see heaven. And what do your soldiers do when they come and fight us? They go all crazy, they commit suicide. That's the difference between me and you. This is the truth. The only time we will stop is when Beit al Abiyad has a black flag over it. Billah al -hamd. The only time we will stop is when we paint Beit al Abiyad black. Billah al -hamd. We will stop when we behead the heads of kufr and when we turn his children into our slaves that's maybe maybe when we will stop maybe when we crucify benjamin Netanyahu for his war crimes maybe that's when we will stop when I mean, you when you were saying you were going to fly the the your flag over the was it? Abi. yeah what's that the white house so fly the islamic right. state flag over the white house I, And on that note,